Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, hello, my name is Olivia and I make videos about anthropology every single Sunday, and today we're going to be talking about applied anthropology. I cannot believe it's been so long and I've never talked about applied anthropology in a video of its own on this channel, so I'm happy it's finally happening. But as you probably also saw in the title, I'm also going to be sharing with you guys why applied anthropology is great. And I know there's bias there. I think I'm usually pretty good about keeping bias and my opinions out of my videos, but I will warn you that I do love applied anthropology, so just be ready for that today. Um, and yeah, now let's talk about it. <laughs> All right, so as usual, I was sifting through the internet looking for the best definition that I could find. And according to the University of Memphis, University of Memphis, I, I didn't know about you, and I love this definition, so I am so excited to share it with everybody. Sometimes called the fifth subfield, applied anthropology is simply defined as the use of anthropological knowledge and skills to solve real world problems. I love this definition, I think it is wonderful, and I think you all will benefit from it. Now the first thing that I'm gonna be talking about within this definition is this idea of applied anthropology being the fifth subfield. Now to anyone who has any background in anthropology, you probably know that there's four main disciplines of anthropology. I say this every single week on my channel. There's four main disciplines of anthropology, and those disciplines are biology, culture, linguistics, and archaeology. These are the big, the big guys, the big players in anthropology and anthropology research. Now, you're doing all this research in all these different areas, and then the big question is where does this research go? What are we going to do with it? And that is where applied anthropology as the fifth subfield, it's not really, but kind of really steps up. And yes, I am, you're probably still confused. So we're going to keep going with this. <laughs> the next thing that I want to talk about a little bit when it comes to applied anthropology is the purpose more or less of applied anthropology. And my big question for all of you is I think, I think, correct me if I'm wrong, if you disagree. It's really easy in the academic space, at least, to get lost in the learning about people and not really consider the impact you can have on people in the sense that we have a lot of data and it just kind of sits there because not a lot of people are actually applying what we learn from the data into the real world. And that more or less is what applied anthropology is all about. It's using what we know about people, using what anthropologists have learned through their many years of study and thinking about how we can use this information to actually create change in communities. Now on UNT's website, I really loved this too. They said that applied anthropology was anthropology put to use. How wonderful is that? I think, again, it's so easy to forget that there's a reason we're doing all this research, and that is to actually change people's lives for the better. And I think you guys are starting to see what I'm saying now, because I can feel myself starting to get redundant. All right, so now we're going to talk practicality. And one of the big questions I think that sits in anthropology more often than not is, oh, what are you going to do with that major? Or why would you want to go into anthropology? I've never heard of that before, so there's probably not a lot of success in it and things you've all probably heard before. And the thing about applied anthropology is it's everywhere and not a lot of people know it. <laughs> so this can look a lot of different ways and I think that's one of the best things about anthropology is that it kind of sits in all these different areas and people don't really even know it. So you can have applied anthropology in economics, you can have it in communities, you can have it in the health system, in the political system, because think about all these systems whose goals are to change people's lives for the better. Okay guys, I'm gonna get comfy so I can get into the nitty gritty of applied anthropology and the nitty gritty for me means examples. <laughs> so I'm gonna tell you guys about an example that I think will really hit this point home um, and really kinda, you'll know exactly what applied anthropology looks like. So let's say that you are an anthropologist and you're interested in understanding smoking and tobacco use. Yes, I use this example a lot and I'm so sorry, but it's just, it's a good one. So you're interested in smoking and there's a siren outside and this is what happens when you live near a fire station. <laughs> 
So you're an anthropologist and you're interested in tobacco use and smoking and how smoking impacts a certain culture, right? And let's say that another anthropologist did a bunch of research already and they learned that maybe smoking is not good for health outcomes, right? Like maybe people have higher rates of lung cancer, maybe in this community. And so if you were an applied anthropologist or if you were working in applied anthropology, your job would not necessarily be like going out to the community and seeing how the health, like how their health is impacted. It would more so be using the data that's already been, you know, collected and asking, huh, how can I use this information that we have to actually positively impact these people, this culture, this community? And you can do this in a lot of different ways when it comes to like tobacco products or smoking. One example is trying to increase taxes on tobacco products. Another one is maybe reducing taxes on products that help people with addiction and like becoming not addicted. (laughs) Another thing that applied anthropology could look like is community outreach programs. So creating safe spaces for people who maybe want to not be smoking anymore. I think you understand what I'm saying. It's like those those action items uh, that really actually create the change, but the data that you're pulling from, that's anthropology and anthropology data. I feel like I'm swinging my hands around, gesticulating a lot, but I hope, I hope that's getting the point down for you guys. Now, this can look a lot of different ways. You can be a consultant, a manager, a community, advocate, a policy analyst. Career-wise, it could be a million different things, but the thing that makes applied anthropology really special is the data that you're pulling from is anthropology data and anthropology research, which again offers a really unique perspective on a lot of social issues, and I think that's a really amazing thing. Now, before fully pulling away from this example, I wanted to throw in here that applied anthropology happens in way more than just cultural anthropology. This tobacco and smoking example definitely was a cultural anthropology example, but you can have applied anthropology in biological, archaeological, and linguistic anthropology. It's just, you know, maybe examples don't like seem as obvious. One instance of this in archaeology is, you know, there's this big conversation happening right now about museums having artifacts that may or may not belong to them, right? Like these things that they put on display are the product of colonialism, right? And so that conversation about who these things belong to um, and the best way to handle that is definitely an instance of applied anthropology and, you know, using archaeology and your background as an anthropologist, put to use, right? It's like related to change and stuff. So yeah, I hope those little examples help you really understand what applied anthropology is. So now, like I mentioned at the beginning of this video, part of this is why I think applied anthropology is great. And I hope that's already been somewhat obvious throughout this video. And I don't know, I'm a big change person. I like it when you can see impacts in your community pretty directly. You know, you, you change a policy and you see the impacts of that policy, that kind of thing. Um, but I also wanted to touch on my opinion, which I've been doing for the last minute. (laughs) I wanted to touch on my opinion about just what I've noticed about anthropology in like the college space and like a research space. And in my opinion right now, we do have a bit of this funnel situation happening where up here you have all these anthropologists and grad students and undergraduate students doing research on anthropology. It's like all of this, right? And then down here at the bottom of the funnel or our little bottleneck situation to all my biological anthropology students, we have applied anthropology. And I would argue, feel free to argue with me, by the way, this is an opinion. I would argue that we aren't applying anthropology nearly as much as we should be and it's hard to know that there's all this research being done and people you know wanting their names on papers when there's so much that we do already know that could be changing people's lives every single day so i don't know that's my opinion i think applied anthropology is wonderful and the more that i did research in anthropology the more i realized that i would want applied anthropology to be a part of what i do more or less i think making videos like this even feels like action and change because i know i'm playing some role in educating some people about anthropology which feels really good so 
yeah, I don't know. I think applied anthropology is wonderful and undervalued. And yes, that is my opinion. Okay, so concluding this, wrapping this all up. At the core of applied anthropology is change. It's action. You know, it's saying, hey, how can we use all that we already know from all this different anthropological work and all these different anthropological studies that have been done and using that information to actually change people's lives and impact communities for the better. And I think that is just as good as it gets. So yeah, I hope this video was able to further your understanding of applied anthropology. As always, I talked a little bit longer than I was planning on because you guys know the passion just bleeds out and I just get really enthusiastic and it is, what time is it right now? I'm looking at my laptop. It is nine o'clock in the morning. And I don't know, I just get really excited. Um, and yeah, okay, let me know what you guys wanna see moving forward. I uh, usually pull video ideas from your guys' requests. So just let me know what you guys wanna see. Be sure to like and subscribe so this channel can reach even more anthropologists and anthropologically inclined individuals. And yeah, I hope you guys are having a great Sunday. <laughs> I'll see you guys next week. Bye.